Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be storing a ton of photo cards in my binder and I have a lot so let's just get into it. I'm gonna start off with 80s because I'm pretty sure I did that for my last one and they are the only boy group in this video so I just feel like that's a nice tradition for me to keep up with. So the first card is this Songhua card. I finally have some Songhua witness cards. I didn't have any before today. And I also have a couple more Mingis. There we go. Then this page should be complete because I have all three of Songwa's cards. There we go. I think this might be my first complete 80s page outside of the Outlaw stuff, which is very exciting. And I don't have anything else for them up until Will era. Now, since my last video, I did switch most of my binders out into a different brand for the pocket pages. And I do like these better. So I plan to switch more of my binders in the future. Okay. And I don't have any of the Z version selfies, unfortunately. I do have a couple more of the concept cards. And finally, this Mindy card. And then I do have some extra cards for them to store. I'm just going to put in a couple pages here really quick. There we go. That's all I have for ATs for this video. I'm happy to finally be making some more progress on Will era. And hopefully I will be able to complete it soon. Okay, next is just going to be a lot of the girl groups that I only have a few cards for. So first is Promise 9, I only have one card today, which is this Soyeon Unlock My World Weverse pub. And there's a little bit of a funny story behind this. Um, I bought this in my last Neokyo order, which was when I first decided I wanted to start buying more pubs for her. And when I got the order, I apparently thought this was an album card. Let me find the version. Yeah, because they look very similar. I thought this was an album card. I didn't check the back, so I put it in my trade sale pile. And then a friend of mine asked me if he could see what Solyon cards I had. And then I took a picture of this one, and then he asked if he could see the back. And then I turned it over and saw this was a Weaver's Pub. And then I realized that I bought this for myself. I just didn't realize I did because it looks so similar to the album cards. So I am adding one card to this collection. Okay, there we go. I do plan to get five more eventually to fill up this page. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it will happen eventually. Okay, next I'm going to do the Seraphim, specifically my Sakura stuff. Now, I don't have any easy cards yet because I still haven't gotten the albums, unfortunately. I bought them on Mercari Japan and they did not arrive at the warehouse in time to be shipped out with um, my most recent order, so I will fortunately have to get those in my next order. So I'm not doing anything for easy today. Hopefully I'll have a lot next time though, so that can be its whole thing. I do have these two Perfect Night cards though. There we 
go. That's all I have for Sakura up until I set up for Easy, which will hopefully be very soon. Next, we have my Shinbi binder. I have a couple more of her Vivi's cards. I'm still working on Pull Up Era because there were a ton of cards of Sarah. And they're not the easiest to find. So I have two more. And I believe I'm missing like six still. Because there was like 20 for this album. And this one. I'm not sure where this one goes. I would have to guess it goes right here. Because the back is the most similar. Yeah, there we go. That's all I have for her today. I am still missing one, two, three, four, five, six, six of her various cards, one of her summer vibe cards, and then a lot of her G friend cards. And then finally, in this speed run segment, I have some WJSN cards. I've actually been making decent progress towards finishing this collection, which I wasn't expecting. Um, so what I have is mostly Bona and Unso stuff. I will be completing both of them for their album cards, which is very exciting. I finally have this Happy Moment card, which I've been looking for forever. And I have been watching Pyramid Game. I don't really watch K-dramas very much, honestly. But I try to watch Bonas when I can because she is one of my favorite idols. But I didn't start watching Pyramid Game until like literally this week. Like right before it finished airing. I binge watched it within two days before the last episodes came out. And I was obsessed with it. It was so good. Like, if anyone watching this video has not seen it, I would highly recommend checking it out. I'm not going to talk about the plot at all, though, because I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, you should totally watch it if you haven't seen it. Okay, now we have some sequence cards. I don't know why it took me so long to complete this era. But I am going to be completing this era today. I'm hoping they get another full group comeback at some point, but it's not looking good, honestly, so I've decided that I am going to just pick up whatever I want for WJSN, which means I've decided I am going to collect um, the solo cards from Soda's album. I wasn't originally going to, but because I miss them so much and I just want more cards for them, I'm going to do it. And I am going to work more on OT4 or Chocomi, which I also was considering dropping, but I've decided against that for the same reason. Okay, I finally have sequence complete. Except for this card. One more Yanjun card. Okay. There we go. That's all I have for WJSN at the moment. I don't have all the sequence units yet, so I'm missing three still. But those weren't a priority for me up until I did complete the solo cards. So I am going to start looking for those now. Next is Red Velvet, who I have quite a lot for because... I purposely didn't include them in the last video because I was saving the cards up until I had enough for them to have a decent section. So I do have a couple more Sulgi cards. First one being this finale card. I don't know where it goes exactly, so 
I'm just going to put it in one of these spots because I don't think it matters that much. Okay. And then I have her last two Queendom cards. And then we get to Chill Kill. I have one card for her. I'm not sure which one this is. I want to say that this is her poster version card, so I'm just going to put it there. But if I'm wrong, I'll just change it later. There we go. And then I have a 28 Reasons card. Once again, I don't really know where it goes, so I'm just going to guess for now. There we go. Then I do have this Chill Kill Pop for her. I'm not sure which store it is. But I'm just going to put it right here. And that's all for Silgi. But I will be completing Yeti's Chill Kill stuff, which is exciting. This card, which is probably my favorite, either this one or this one. There we go. Now, I do also have a couple extra cards for her as well. I have one of her SMCU Palace cards. I don't really collect the SMCU cards for anyone, but... This concept is really pretty, so I wanted to get at least one of them. And then I have a couple Chill Kill Pobs as well. And I think I'm just going to stick this one on the back because I don't want to start a whole new page for one card. Okay. And now I have some more Chill Kill stuff for the other members. Okay. And that's it for Chill Kill for now. I do have quite a few extra cards for Irene because I'm like kind of casually collecting her now that I'm fully collecting Silgi. So I've been buying some of her stuff. Okay, I am going to need to add in a page here. So first off, I have her Feel My Rhythm stuff. I have all three of her cards. And then I have the rest of her birthday cards. So I do have her complete for both Feel My Rhythm and Birthday now, which is exciting. And then I have this one uh, Chill Kill Chinese Pop that I got because it was just super cute and it was for a decent price so I just had to get it. I think I'm going to put it on the back for now, though, because I don't want to start a whole new page just for one card. There we go. 
And then finally to the back. I do have their 2024 season's greeting stuff to put away. I really love this selfie set. I think it's super cute. I'm just going to put some white sleeves in here. Next is the pink concept set, which matches this binder really well. And then the black and white concept. And finally, this last set, which is hollow. I think it must be a pop set. I'm not sure though. And that's it for Red Velvet. And the final group for this video is going to be Dreamcatcher. I saved them for last because I have the most stuff for them by far. I have been buying a ton of their stuff since January and saving it up so they could be a big portion of this video. First, who's Alone in the City? Now for them, I am collecting Jiu, Xi'an, and Yuxian. Plus, honestly, quite a few OT7 sets because they are one of my favorite groups. And for them, in particular, my top three, besides my biases, who are Yuhyun and Xion. My top three isn't very firm for them. So I wanted to collect as many OT7 sets as I could. I'm really happy to have this set complete because when I originally started collecting Dreamcatcher, I really wanted this set because I just think it's so pretty but I had a lot of trouble finding these cards and honestly didn't get any of them besides Yuhyun's so it is really cool to have this set complete. Now into Rate of Dream. I'm skipping for now some of the harder to collect eras. Everything before Alone in the City plus The End of Nightmare. Okay, and now for another OT7 set. This is also one of my favorite set of theirs because um, the Deja Vu MV is probably my favorite of theirs aesthetically, or at very least it's one of my favorites. But I only have these three cards right now. I do have a duplicate of this Yuhyun though, so if anyone watching this has Jiu's, um, I'd be willing to trade this card for this card. Now into Tree of Language. And that's all for the older eras because I do have everything for 
Lose Myself and Road to Utopia complete. Then for Summer Holiday, I was only missing this one Hanbang card, but I do have it now. So this era is complete now as well. And then now we're on to Save Us, which is the era that I kind of stopped collecting them. So this is all basically stuff that I've never had before. A lot of the older stuff was stuff that I did have, but I sold when I downsized. I'm honestly not too sure why I basically stopped having the desire to collect them during Maze Era, because I was still very much into them as a group. I just didn't want to get their photo cards. Maybe it's because um, I personally don't like these photo cards as much as a lot of their other eras, and that's mostly because a lot of them have the green screen behind them, and I just hate cards with the green screen background so much. But as you can see, I do have most of the cards I'm missing. And a lot of these cards were quite easy and cheap to find, luckily. And this is what I meant, cards like this that have green screen backgrounds, I'm not a fan of that. Like, I personally think this card sticks out a lot in this set. Okay, and now we're gonna follow us. This is probably one of my favorite cards of hers. I just think it's so cute. I do have this card on the way, so I will soon have all of these limited selfies complete, which is nice. And I'm still working on these concepts. I don't have any of these cards on hand or on the way. Now this set... I probably will pick up some more OT7 for this era in the near future. And this set will probably be one of them. Just love the set because they all have these cute filters on them. Okay, so we have a complete page here. And then I really love the back design on these. I didn't intend to color code when I set this up, but I'm glad I did because it looks really nice. And now on to the platform sets. I'm so glad when I pulled this Geo card I didn't get rid of it when I downsized because considering how popular that card is, I don't know if I'd be able to get it back super easily. And now on to the OT7 set for this era, which is this red uniform set. I'm still missing Sua and Dami for this set. Okay, now on to From Us, which is my favorite comeback from them, so I have been considering fully picking up OT7 for this. I'm not 100% sure about that yet though. But I probably will just start by adding some more sets in the future. I don't have anything from this second limited selfie set on hand, but I do have this Xion card in Poker Market. So that will probably be in my next video.
Okay, now into the platform cards. I also really love this Shion card. Probably one of my favorites of hers as well. Now on to the OT7 sets, which for this era are both of the normal selfie sets for now. I do have both of them complete. Okay, and now I need to put a page in here for the set that came in the platform albums. And I'm just going to use the group cards in the corner here. There we go. And now we're on to Villain's Era. I actually got this Xion card and another one as a gift from someone who watched my Dreamcatcher Collection setup video. So if that person is watching this video. Thank you so much once again. And I decided to set up this page so that each member would be completing the hearts because it honestly annoys me when I have photo card sets where the hearts aren't complete when they're doing these heart hands. Okay. Now on to the limited concepts. now some of the QR cards. Now the OT7 sets. For this set, I'm only missing Handong's card. card set. Okay, so that's it for this binder. This is just all of my Dreamcatcher album cards. I separated the non-album stuff out, so that's where we're going to head next. Okay, so this is the Dreamcatcher non-album binder. I didn't make a cover for it like my last one because I just didn't want to, so I just put some stickers up here and these two postcards on the front. And I haven't really honestly thought much about how I'm going to organize this, so I'm just going to play it by ear and then if I need to, I'll organize it off camera or in a separate video. Okay, so first off, I have quite a few Xi'an pubs. Because I went a little crazy. Okay. Now we're on 
into Bon Voyage era, which I have a lot for, because as I said before, it is my favorite comeback of theirs. And my current plan is to just get as many Bon Voyage non-album cards as possible for both Xi'an and Yushan. So that's what I've been attempting to do. So I'm just gonna put some fillers here so this can just be a Bon Voyage page. Now on to fill-ins. I also have a lot for because it's the newest era so these haven't been as difficult to find okay also gonna put some fillers here and now on to Yushan I do have all of her summer holiday pubs so I'm just gonna leave these like this and on their own separate pages. And then I'm just going to put the stuff after. And now straight into Bon Voyage era. I don't have as much on hand for you, Ken. So I'm just going to combine them into pages for now. And then this is going to be the page for villains. Now, for her, I'm being a little more picky than I am with Xi'an, so that's why I have fewer. Because I specifically want a page of only Pobs where she has her blue hair. So I've only been buying those for now. That's why I have so few for villains compared to Xi'an. But I am working on it. And this is... Um, Probably one of my favorite cards of hers I have in general. Okay, so that's it for the Xi'an and Yuhan stuff specifically. That was obviously a lot, but I do have some OT7 stuff now. With the first one being the Broken Halloween Lucky Draws. Um, I really love Halloween costume cards, and that's why I have this set. And I have this set. So when I was like looking at non-album stuff to collect for OT7, I saw these and I felt like I had to get at least one of these for each member. So that's what I did. But they have been quite expensive. So I'm glad that I'm going to be done with them pretty soon. I have everyone except Handong and Gahyun on hand, but I do have theirs on the way, which is exciting. Okay, so that's that set for now. Like I said, I have these two on the way, so I will be storing those in my next video, whenever that is. And then the last thing for this binder is these sets. I finally got these, but I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put them because I didn't think about that beforehand. I think I'm going to put them after the Mysterious Mansion stuff and before the Seasons Greeting stuff. Okay, so that's the first set. have the Love Catcher set. And then I'm also just going to put some pillars in the corner here. And that's it for this video. Those are the last cards I had to store. I know that the majority of this video was Dreamcatcher, but they have been the group that I've been buying the most for, 
recently and I have been saving these cards up for like three months so I'm super happy to finally have them stored in my binder and hopefully in my next video I'll have a bigger variety thank you for watching if you watch this entire thing and I'll see you in my next video